What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. In our last episode, our top comment was from Ethan. He said the snipers and zombies are like the launchers of multiplayer. Not really a suggestion, but it did say snipers in it. So today we're gonna be doing the Pellington. Really quick, this is my camo progress on the Pellington. Basically everything is done except for crits. I feel like that's just gonna be the gist of this whole series. But I went ahead and I played a game before this to get it close enough and we are only 100 crits away. So we should get it done pretty quick. These are my attachments for the Pellington. I have the Cobra Red Dot. Wrap suppressor, tiger team barrel, ember sighting point, bruiser grip, seven round mag, airborne elastic, and the raider stock. And a lot of people were mad at me or put in comments saying these attachments are horrible for uh, my LW3. I really don't know what the meta is for zombie builds. I basically just put on anything that drops salvage and is like ADS fast. So I mean, if you got suggestions for builds or what, you know, attachments are good, like generically for most guns, let me know. But for the most part, if it kills a zombie, it I'm, I'm fine with it. But I do have some crystals. So let's go ahead and upgrade. I don't think we need to upgrade any weapon classes yet. Still not upgrading melee till I'm done with the launchers. We could upgrade our Aether Shroud. I'm gonna leave it for right now. We have some perks we need to finish off. Actually, Deadshot's done. All these are five. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll get Deadwire all the way up and then we'll get our Aether Shroud. Never mind. We were too off on our Aether Shroud. So what can we level up a little more? I have no idea what to upgrade. And it's not gonna be this. Not until somebody shows me they can get camos for their gun while meleeing. I think we might just be chilling here. So we can't really upgrade too much. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. Let's get into a game. Twin brother and I pulling up. You know how it goes. Uh, I switched my skin back to the my OG skin. Baker pizza roll skin. Great. We're starting it off nice with not a crit. Let's go ahead, grab our loose change. Come on through here. I'm still 10 short, so let me do this. Sweet. All right, I want to clear something up. In the last episode, I said it took like 12 or something games to get my lw3 done i was exaggerating a little bit but it probably took like five and i had a lot of people saying oh you know you'd get it done a lot quicker if you didn't exfil it around like 15 or something normally i exfil at like 26 unless like I, it's, i'm fresh with the gun sometimes i'll exfil because i'm i'm not sure how close i am and i want to get gold in the video so i get scared of accidentally getting it and not getting it recorded so sometimes it'll take a few extra games than normal I mean, I could always just go to 36, play two games and get it done. You know, at the same time, I don't want to have like a two hour recording of me just playing zombies, especially because after a while it gets boring. You're just getting, just going for crits the whole time as I'm missing all of these crits. But it also, it makes it easier to edit. It makes it so I can get these videos out faster. That's why I like to, you know, get the gun close to done. And then, you know, whatever I record, I record. Let me grab this loose change. But the, but the whole the whole notion, like I exfil after like round 15, it's like, I already got the gun gold. The gun's already gold. There's nothing else for me to do in the game. So why not exfil? And some people are saying to just die, which, you know, I could do that. But I think you get more crystals if you exfil, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the reason I like to exfil because it's it's hard to get those, uh, what are they, like pristine crystals, whatever the last crystal is. They're more difficult to get. They don't drop as easy as like the normal crystals or you don't get them as easy. So I like to exfil because I think it might guarantee one after a certain round. But, you know, we, we need a few of those to get everything to level five. We're almost gotten everything you know, fully leveled. So that's good. You know, for crits, I actually, you guys were telling me that, you know, in that, in that office spot, when I was saying like, oh, we should just put a sentry here and I'll take out the door. You literally, all I had to do is take a few steps back. So let me go. Normally I'll go through the middle first, but I'll go through here. So let me come right around here. I could turn the power on. I'll do that in a second. Loose change. But I was literally just standing in the doorway, shooting them from right here. All I had to do is take a few steps back and stand here. And then all the zombies that come from the window will cross over to here. So I don't have to worry about them hitting me in the back. Sometimes it will get like towards later rounds, especially with snipers when they won't bolt back up as fast. It'll get like overwhelmed in there. I'll just have to hop out the window. But usually it's fine. I can just Aether Shroud out. I could uh, ring a fire. And I think I might do that for like more automatic weapons or like launchers and things of that nature. But for the sniper, even if I, you know, I don't have to reload, I still have to bolt it. And the bolting is what takes a little bit. I could throw in like a speed loader or something, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. We're only like 60 crits away, but I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of getting these camos done quicker. Just need one more kill. There we go. Get the fuck out of my face. All right, let's go sit here. So there hasn't really been too much like COD 
news really in the in the last few days uh the e-tool dropped and it, it's really bad i've heard it's good in zombies but in multiplayer it's awful it's literally a, a, a melee weapon that you have to use in hardcore for it to even be like viable so yeah i still gotta get it gold so maybe we might try that later this is stupid get off me but for the most part the only new like cod news that has come out a leak or like a teaser for the new Warzone map, uh, the Ural Mountains. It's supposed to be like the Dirty Bomb maps, like just put in together as like the, the new Warzone map. I mean, hopefully it's good. Uh, some of the Dirty Bomb maps look pretty cool. Like they look good. Uh, I'm curious to see how they transfer like to Warzone. Uh, it's, it's gonna be really similar to how uh, the Modern Warfare Ground War maps were put into Warzone. Hopefully it's it's good. You know, they, they, they're they probably gonna have Nuketown in there somewhere which will be cool to see it like outside of like the neighborhood. Maybe it'll be like a little desert section. But you know, I'm I'm just ready for, well, I like, I wanna preface this by saying I like Verdansk, Verdansk is fine. And I've been getting back into Warzone a little bit. I've been playing some Rebirth, but you know, I, I'm, I think I'm ready for a new map. Playing Verdansk like without like a squad or something like solos, just on Verdansk has not been, you know, the most enticing thing to do. Like it's fun once you get like in the groove and you're, you're, like demolishing people but a lot of times it's just people hiding and that you know that's that's not the greatest so i that's why i usually play rebirth it's always fast paced it's always you know fun loadouts are cheaper easier to get there's always something going on in rebirth there's hardly any downtime which i like like it's it's casual and it's try hard at the same time because you die it's like oh whatever i'll just i'll respawn it's rebirth like once you respawn it's like oh sh like i can get my loadout pretty quick i can kind of like shmeet out like whenever i want like there's there's always fights going on and it's always like fun and intense so rebirth's definitely up there i hope rebirth stays when the new map comes so there's always like a secondary mode maybe they'll also keep verdansk as a secondary mode but you know they won't keep shoot the ship and Modern Warfare a lot of times. And there we go. We got Golden Viper. So it would be cool if they just add new maps and they don't get rid of the old ones. But I have a feeling they're going to get rid of uh, Verdansk. Let's get the fuck out of here. That spot just makes zombies so easy. It's so brain dead too. You just stand there, aim in, shoot. They get close enough to you. You just dip the hell out of there. Let's go ahead and buy this middle door. I guess I'll turn this power on. We don't really need it, but might as well. Because we're going to be exfilling. Uh, if we can get power on and get pack a punch make x feel a lot easier but man like get it I, everyone's saying the snipers are like the worst part about grinding for dark ether or aether whatever you want to call it so i'm glad to be getting these like almost out of the way we still have like the m82 to do you know i'm just th this grind just seems really like mind numbing of just constant doing the same thing over and over again so i'm gonna be glad to get it done but like after we get it like what do we do there's no like like super completionist camo like there was for like modern warfare with obsidian maybe they'll add it later on because obsidian was added pretty late into the game maybe you'll get some sort of reward for having like dark matter and dark aether in the future but as of right now like this this is like the only grind and since we already have the pellington gold let's get a gun from here we already have this gold too Okay, I'll use the KSP. Well, let me know if you guys want to see any type of different zombies content. Like, us going for... Like, I, I could get a few friends together. We could try to do, like, the big Easter egg and get, like, Maxis or whatever. I don't know what goes on in this game. Uh, we've already done, the like, the Ray K one. I mean, that's pretty easy. A lot of people do that one. Or if you want to see us try to get to, like, a certain round or everyone use, like, a certain gun or something, I think that could be fun. So if you guys want to see different zombies-type content that isn't Road to Dark Aether, let me know. For now, all I'm doing in zombies is just grinding camos. Yeah. Anything that isn't, like, a bolt action seems like so much fun in zombies. I mean, I, I guess the M82 isn't bolt action, but, you know, that gun's not going to be very fun. But everything else... I feel like there's going to be no issue with any other zombie weapon. Melee weapons, I think, will just basically kill outright. All you got to do is just pack a punch to stay up with it. This will be a one-hit kill for, like, ever. Actually, I am i don't know what the melee weapon challenges are. Are there still crits? Can you even hit crits with it? Like, how does that work? I guess I can check it out after this. The one big issue I can see, like, snipers run out of ammo uh, semi-frequently. But it's usually not too bad because you can collat and line them up pretty easy. And it's usually a one-shot kill. I think the main issue going for other guns would probably be keeping up with ammo. But again, it'll probably be, you know, way way more fun to do when I can just lay on the trigger. Like, especially when we get to LMGs and things like that, it should be 
just smooth sailing. But we have like one more round till we can exfil. So let's try to get our crits up for the, the KSP while we have it. There we go. Getting a little bit of camos. But the E-Tool dropped. We're probably like a quarter of the way into this new season. Uh, maybe less, maybe more. And that's not my strong suit. But I'm thinking, you know, after like maybe a month or so, they're going to start adding in like the new sniper and like the, the crossbow and everything. So I'm excited to get some new guns in the game. Some things that aren't a fucking little shovel that doesn't do anything and hopefully they're good like hopefully this new sniper is like balanced between like having semi-decent like ads speed and like good damage output like if it's anything like the lw3 i'm sure i'll like it but if they just drop another like 50 cal m82 that's just not fun to use is very slow as like the most outrageously low like damage output for a sniper i'm gonna be really disappointed but the, you know when they drop the Farah in the lc10 those are both like like good guns like they can compete with other guns in their class like the lc10 might be one of the best smgs at this point in the you know the the fair is pretty pretty like pretty decent too so hopefully when they drop guns they make them more competitive and they're not like gimmicks like the shovel was and if they do drop gimmicks like every once in a while is fine like the, the shovel's goofy it's it's stupid like I, I i i can kind of see the appeal but it just sucks it is not good let me get a, a death machine okay you guys gotta let me through the freaking door okay goodbye there's a c4 for you War Machine's fun. Are you a crawler? Goodbye. Are you crawling as well? Goodbye. All right, let's get the hell out of here. That was easy enough. Let's see how this thing looks with Golden Viper on. Not good. Uh, not a fan of Golden Viper. Plague Diamond looks better. Obviously, Dark Aether is the best. But we're almost there. We only have the M82 to do now. So if you guys want to see that next, let me know. Uh, if you want to see a different weapon next, also let me know. Oh, not too much going on in COD right now. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today. If you want to see me use a gun in zombies, uh, let me know in the comments. The top comment will be the gun that we use next. If you like this video and you want to see more, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, sub. And yeah, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.